Welcome everyone. Seeing as it's Valentine's Day, I thought, yeah, it would be a good idea to do a heart animation in Flare. Super easy to do. So yeah, this will be a quickie. Okay, so we are at the editor. As you can see, I've already created the heart shape. I achieved this by using the pen tool and just defining points. So to give you an example how to quickly do this, let's make the hearts invisible and then select artboard and select the pen tool. And then what we do is click, 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 and click, and then we have our heart effect. No, I'm only joking. So to just give you an example, the pen tool is essentially you can define points and then you can control the bend of the point. So each point has four attributes that you can change. For example, choosing mirrored and we zoom in, you can see there are two control points that define the curve. And if we select detached, you can define each of the individual control points on their own, while mirrored will mirror the two points. And then on the other hand, if we choose straight, then the lines just connect to the points and there are no control points to define a curve. So with patience and clicking around, you can create any shape that you want. So if we select edit vertices for the heart, you can see that's exactly what I did. I just defined a series of points and then define the curve for each point. So as an example, this point over here has a straight point, while this one is detached. As you can see, the bend is slightly different over here than the bend is over here. This one is said to be mirrored. And then the final one is detached. The left side is just a mirror of the right side. Okay, so if we jump to animate, as you can see, I've already created the like animation. So let's hit play. So a couple of things to note here, you can see that the path vanishes and then reappears. This is something called trim path. And you can also see that the color changes from black to pink. So first let's explore how we do the path animation. Jumping back to design and then selecting the heart and then going over to the right where the properties is you can see there is a trim path attribute and it's currently set to sequential. By default, this will be set to off. Sequential and synced does the exact same if there's only one path. And because we only have one path, it doesn't matter which one we choose. So let's say sequential. And you can see this has a start value and an end value. So for example, if we change the end value to be 50, it only does the path for half of the heart. If we set it back to 100, you can see it does the entire path for the entire shape. So going back to animate, this is a property that we can animate as the time frame moves on. So opening the heart, scrolling down, you can see that we animate the stroke end. So if we jump to the first keyframe, you can see that the stroke end is set to 100%. And then moving along, the stroke end is 0%. Now it has completely vanished. And then a neat trick, as we go along the timeline, the stroke vanishes from right to left, and then it goes from right to left again. So to achieve this effect, the end value over here is not 100%, but minus 100%. Then next to note, after the path animates, the shape slightly expands in size and then goes back to normal. This is quite an easy animation. All we do is we play with the scale. So at this stage, the scale is 1.1 and then going back, the scale is one. We also change the stroke width going from 50 to 65, back to 50. And then the other animations that we do is just animating the fill color and the stroke color to go from black to pink. You can see at the start of our animation, the fill color is not filled in. So you can see that the fill opacity is set to zero. The fill opacity is an attribute you can see here. And then if we go to this keyframe, you can see that the fill opacity is still zero. But then as we move the animation along, the fill opacity gets set to one. And that's that. That is how we achieve this animation. A neat trick, you can set this on loop. 
and then the animation will loop. Okay, next we will create the dislike animation. So we will call this dislike after tapping the add button over here. And to a degree, the dislike will be exactly the same. So we will select all these keyframes, hit control C, and then hit control V to copy paste it into our new animation. As you can see, our current animation time is set to 10 seconds. So we will set this to be one second. The frames per second is set to 60. So in the time frame below, you can see there are 60 frames available within this second duration we have. So the dislike animation will be the exact inverse of the like animation. We will set the end keyframe to be at the beginning and the beginning keyframe to be at the end. And then move all of these along to be at the correct place, just to be the inverse. So let's see what this looks like. Hit play. And there we have it. We are at the preview page for this house animation. So if we click play, dislike, and then click the play for the like, there we have it. If you like this, feel free to get this from Two Dimensions. All of this is open source, so you can just open it in Flare and then fork it and copy and then export it and then use it in your Flutter applications. I hope you enjoyed this special Valentine's Day video. And then yeah, catch you in the next one.